We are waiting on Sean Marion, the NBA champion, four-time NBA All-Star. Sean, welcome to the Odd Couple, What's brother. What's happening? What's up, guys? What's up? The Odd Couple. There you go. Uh, right, I, I just right. want you to I'm, know I'm Did you Oscar. ever see the Odd Couple? Yes. He might. Did you ever see the Odd Couple of that show? You did. Yeah, come on, man. I don't, hey, you ain't got to tell my real age now. Come on, yeah. <laughs> I'll just say, how does he not? He saw the odd couple. He knows that Chris is a feeling. Well, Sean, no, Sean, I'm Oscar. Sean, don't get it. Sean, twisted. don't get it. You don't already know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's great to have you on, brother. You know I covered you during when you played in the league, and you had a great career. And first thing, man, congratulations on, uh, you know, you're about to get your jersey, you and Amari Stoudemire. Uh, retired with the Phoenix Suns and put in their ring of honor. What does this mean to you? And, um, you know, you talk about your time spent there in Phoenix. I mean, it's a, I mean, it's a, it's a blessing, man. You know, uh, it's a testament to uh, the longevity and the consistency I was able to give uh, give the fans out there in the, in the Suns of the Valley of the Sun. And you know, um, I mean, listen, man. Like Matt, my, like Matt said, I'm gonna quote my, I'm gonna quote Matt. Matt was like, long overdue. <laughs> right, right. Hey, right, right let, but let me ask you about the Suns. And here, here's what I'm, I'm gonna be the stick in the mud. That team was so good. You guys won so many games. Is there a part of you that feel like you guys let a, a golden opportunity slide away, and you, you never could get, you know, one championship with all the great players who played there? Oh man, you know. Man, I wish we could have won one, man. I think uh, I, the times I felt like we could have won, um, I mean, we just fell that, that, that close and that short. But, man, you know, um, shit, things happen, man. You know, it's some, some things in your control and some things not in your control. So, with that being said, though, you know, um, you know, a lot of things got to go right for you when you're winning a check. Everything got to be, be, uh, be uh, clicking in all cylinders and in order for you to close it out. And, fortunately, it wasn't, it wasn't for us. Well, you, you don't need to be an old man, hey, get off my lawn kind of guy. But when you see today's players, and I'm not talking about you're long in the tooth, you go to a team with a hope to win a championship, guys in their prime, you know, just like, okay, well, let me team up with four other guys and win a championship or keep moving around. What do you? Where are you on that? Does that feel good or is it just the, the day we live in? And then there's other players like a Giannis who refused. Everybody ridiculed him to stay in Milwaukee, and guess what? Stayed in Milwaukee and won his own championship. Where are you? I mean, listen, you know, but they still made some big trades, some big trades to get some some key pieces in and help win. You know, even though he stayed there, you know, they put people around him though. You know, they still kept bringing guys in, so it's not uh, it's not like they had a homegrown team from from day one. He was there from day one, but a lot of the guys they brought in throughout his tenure, you know what I'm saying, to add to him. You know, which is which is great. You know what I'm saying? They made that big trade for Drew, Drew Holiday right before trade line, and that was a big trade for them. You know what I'm saying? And they added B.J. Tucker, too, as well. But so, I know, but everybody wanted him to go to Miami. You remember when, when Milwaukee got swept? He could have gone yeah. to Miami, and he refused to do it, and they, they said he was dumb. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I don't agree. I mean, you, you, I mean, listen, I mean, Miami is a great organization and people will always have something to say, whether you, whether you like it or not, you know what say? But in the, the day, he knew what he wanted to do. He knew what was right. And he, and he brought a championship to that city, which is well, more, well deserved and well earned. And, uh, you got to take a half to that, you know, listen, pe- 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 players want to join guys and stuff like this. Easy to say you want to go play with somebody, but just because you want to go play with somebody don't mean you're going to get, you're guaranteed to win something. <laughs> Well, you you know that as well as anybody because you were you did win a championship even though y'all fell short in Phoenix. You were on that Dallas team, Dirk Nowitzki about to go into the Hall of Fame, and you were on that team with him that beat the big three in their first year together: LeBron, right. D Wade, and Chris Bosh. Uh, let me ask you this because a big storyline in that was that LeBron just fell apart, you Nothing. know, for over the second half of that series. Obviously, your guys' defense had a lot to do with it. You were throwing different looks. Rick Carlisle did a good job. You guys were throwing a lot of different looks at him. But were you – what was going through your mind, you could clearly see he wasn't the same. And, and yeah, you know you're playing good defense, but you also see this guy's not – he ain't playing this game. Like, what's going – like, what was going through your mind? 
Well, 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 Chris, you just answered your own question, though. Like, you just sit there and said, we do different deep defenses out there to change up the dynamic of the game in the situation that the teams that we were playing in the matches with the guys. That's it. That's, that, you just answered your question. So, so, so for somebody to sit there and say, you know, that, that's the thing I really, I really true hate. It's always, it's always because, because the media has to pick a favorite, and that's what's always there. And I understand that you have to pick a favorite. But when, when a team that you, the team, the favorite team that you pick doesn't prevail. You always say that uh, they didn't do. You always give. You always basically say you, you make an excuse for them not to. Why can't it be that other team has just stopped them and took them out of everything they want to do? Right. Well, I, I hear you why, feel like why, it, why y'all why took why his confidence why, why, away why, why, with the different looks because that's no, what why, it, it, he didn't look confident. Yeah, but confident or not doesn't matter. Why couldn't we be a better team though? Why just because they had three current All Stars? Dude, we had we had me, we had Peja, we had J Kid. Uh, Dirk was already he was a current all star that year. But then we had uh who else? Karan was on there, but I mean I Jason think Terry. Friday, still, Jason he was an all star. Right, no, 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 no. I'm just play. saying current no no, because what happens is y'all y'all the media creates this narrative about uh super teams and basically you say a super team because it's a current all star. That's what it is, right? You have to be a current all star basically to call it a super team. Am I right? Yeah, I mean, it, I think a lot of with you guys, Listen, it was I'm that J J Kid was clearly not in his prime. Still a productive player. No, um, so goes, that, got, huh? No, yeah, it does mean. I mean, it, if, if LeBron, not, well, LeBron's a little different story. But a guy that's past his prime, that's not going to be viewed as much of a super team as a guy that's fully in his prime. And and, and we that's also, all and saying. we also saw oh, okay, it so and when the Pistons. This is why I said current. Or this is why I said current. Also, this is this is this, this is the narrative, quote unquote, the media is creating the stipulations, y'all. Y'all, the media, big lines for super team. So, with that being said, though, regardless of not, even though Dirk was the only current all star of the of that of the team that at that time, we got all star pedigree guys. We know we got guys that knew how to compete and level up, and we bought into the dynamic of a team concept, and we knew uh, everybody was at the man or, or, or at one point or uh, somebody on their team. For most of the majority of our team, so a lot of us we knew what we wanted to do, what we was capable of doing. We went out there and we we bought into it, and we respected each other, and that that was the thing, though. Like, but people forget sometimes. I think you get caught up into this current stigma. A lot of times when you're talking about teams and the dynamic and this and that, well, just because a guy is not a current All Star doesn't mean he's not doesn't have All Star pedigree in him. So he can be called upon and do certain things in, in certain situations. In certain, he can have a, he can always have a, a game of twenty five or thirty points, or come, or average thirty points in the series because he's been an all star before. So if you show he's shown you he can do it before, just because he's not having to do it on a regular basis on a team he's currently on, don't mean he can't do it. And so that's it, the thing that people don't understand about the game itself. There's so many things, that, there's so many levels to this. This 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 game, it's not. And I understand y'all doing it from a, y'all talking about the game from a visual standpoint. But it's things you go that, that players as with us players go through in locker rooms that we feel that we know that all we gotta do is go out there and take care and do what we gotta do. We go, it's gonna make, it's gonna happen for us. And it's a, so it, or we have an or and stuff that a lot of teams don't. I mean, some teams you have it when they when they when they when they do they know they sense it. Some teams sense they, a lot of teams sense it when they when they about to accomplish something special, and we sense it and we knew it. And the sad part about that though, it took it took us going out there shocking the world and proving it to, to let y'all know what we was in, and you still wouldn't try to give us try to downplay what we did. Well, you know what I was going to say. It sounds like you feel like y'all y'all that team gets short shrift. No, but but you Is know that what you feel. Oh, like y'all don't get the credit y'all deserve. Look, look, look at the look what you just said though. You come in talking about um, the big three, this big three, that man. Look, look at the team we had. We had some helpful players on our team. Well, I know. But last time I checked, I don't think nobody would have be. We would have beat anybody that year. I don't care what nobody say. Wow. I'm saying you know right now. If you look at what we did and in, 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 in the track record we had for that playoff run, go look at it. Go back and really look at it and look at the teams we really beat. No, I got you. It, you know what? Yeah, it, go, it, it, look at those, go look at those rosters. It, go look it, at those it, this, it, it happens all the time. The 2004 Pistons beat the Lakers, and it was like Shaq and Kobe were beefing. Not that the Pistons beat them in five games. It could have been a what we call a five-game sweep. But I get your point. Last thing for me, Dirk Nowitzki, Chris mentioned going into the Hall of Fame. I remember when you guys won that champion. He made every shot that he needed to make. He played big. Just talk about Dirk and what kind of a player he was to play with. Oh man, Dirk was amazing, man. You know, um, we we had some great battles. I love playing against Dirk, but I love playing with him just as well too, man. Uh, you know, I'm truly, truly happy for 
the seven foot assassin going into the uh, Hall of Fame with D Wade and the Clay. Got a great class, Popovich, Tony P. I, I wouldn't miss this for the world. I, I want to be right there front and center and watch these guys go in. And uh, I'm truly happy for them and uh, well deserved. Last thing, Sean, before you go, your Phoenix teams were regarded as, you know, changing the game. Um, and you were you one of the first person to say that. A lot of people don't give us credit for that. Yeah, oh, I told, yeah, no. I tell I tell I, I I I everybody if you know anything about basketball. If I if we started in Phoenix, it started small ball era started. Yeah, no doubt. You know no anything doubt. about basketball? Well, that's what I was, like when you see today's game, are you just like, man, this is what we were doing? And like you said, y'all did start it. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, listen, today's game is. <laughs> is it's feast of famine, you know what I'm saying? And, and we did start it somewhat. For, you, can, you can honestly say that we did, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, man, for, for the whole, we did play some defense, though, man. Y'all, y'all get, always used to say we didn't play no defense. We, we did play some defense, man. And But it's okay. Y'all but, but, a little, a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was mixed in very, very little. It didn't, it didn't help the prepare. <laughs> To get hey, a championship. What you talking about, man? I always play defense. I don't know all what you're right, about. there you go. You did. Where's everybody <laughs> you else? You were a defender. Yeah, all you right. were a defender. We, hey, we Sean, we appreciate Sean, you. Sean, man, great <laughs> stuff, brother. We appreciate the passion. Yes. Anytime you want to come on, man, we love to have you. And again, congratulations on uh, getting your jersey retired in Phoenix. No doubt, man. I appreciate it, man. You know, I think the son, the, the, the Phoenix family, been waiting for this for quite some time now. So it's finally coming, coming to just, and uh, it's going to be pretty awesome, man. All right, brother. Peace, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep.